Item number SCP-6053, Security Level 3, Containment Class Safe, Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Warning, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-6053-1 is to be monitored via remote security cameras for the purpose of preventing unauthorized individuals from entering SCP-6053. In the event any unauthorized individual enters SCP-6053, they are to be detained and interrogated. Guards stationed outside of SCP-6053 are to make physical contact with at least one individual stationed within the facility in order to ensure the safety of staff. All personnel working within SCP-6053 must be compliant and familiar with the entirety of the Dead Elysium Treaty. At least three Foundation personnel should be stationed within Area 6053 at all times, in order to examine the objects recovered within SCP-6053. Researchers within SCP-6053 are required to keep journals or other written documents to record their experience, as well as their findings regarding SCP-6053 and any affiliated items. If staff within SCP-6053 note any significant changes within SCP-6053 or observe any entities within SCP-6053 that are not authorized to be there, they are to evacuate immediately and alert command. Description SCP-6053 is a barren pocket dimension which was originally discovered by the serpent's hand. The dimension itself is rather unremarkable. It appears to be one perfectly flat plane made entirely of grey soil. SCP-6053's atmosphere is identical in makeup to the atmosphere on Earth, with an unknown constant source of light delivering a fixed amount of light throughout all explored areas of SCP-6053. The temperature within SCP-6053 is a constant 19 degrees Celsius, approximately 66 degrees Fahrenheit, and has yet to be recorded fluctuating. A constant layer of fog covers SCP-6053, preventing any individual from seeing more than 2.75 meters in front of them at any given moment. Radio and video signals cannot be transmitted within SCP-6053, and thus between SCP-6053 and baseline reality. SCP-6053 hosts an unknown amount of dead organisms at various depths below the surface. The entities are not believed to be native to SCP-6053, however, the ground above the buried entities does not show any signs of disturbance. In all known instances, the organisms are devoid of blood and do not show any signs of continued decomposition after being uncovered. Many of these items are the remains of anomalous organisms, while some items are anomalous themselves. All discovered items are currently being housed within every year 6053. SCP-6053 is accessible via SCP-6053-1, the entrance to Wildwood Cemetery in Amherst, Massachusetts. If an individual passes through SCP-6053-1, with a physical blindfold on, they will be instantly displaced to between SCP-6053-2, an exact copy of SCP-6053-1, and the only known natural landmark within SCP-6053, performing the same action between SCP-6053-2 will displace the individual back between SCP-6053-1. Inorganic objects cannot be transported through these gateways. However, objects which are mostly made of organic materials can contain some inorganic materials or sometimes capable of being transported through. Extensively sterilized parts taken from those affected by SCP-217 are used in most machinery within every year 6052, or those safer and more humane methods are being researched. Addendum 6053-1 Dead Elysium Treaty Following Incident SCP-6053-A 
Note, Incident SCP-6053-A refers to the sudden and to date unexplained disappearance of all Serpent's Hand personnel stationed within SCP-6053. Investigation is ongoing. Her Serpent's Hand decided a more complete understanding of SCP-6053 would be necessary in order to continue to research the anomalous dimension and chose to invite the SCP Foundation onto the project. The following document was drafted in order to allow harmonious teamwork between operatives of the Serpent's Hand and operatives of the Foundation while working within SCP-6053. In order to establish a harmonious relationship while working together in Dead Elysium. Note, the Serpent's Hand's designation for SCP-6053. Representatives from both the Serpent's Hand and the SCP Foundation have agreed upon a list of rules which represent both parties' interests. 1. The Foundation may monitor Elysium's Gate. Note, SCP-6053-1 To prevent any unauthorized personnel or entities from entering, in order to ensure the safety of on-site staff. 2. All information discovered about Dead Elysium and within Dead Elysium must be shared between both organizations. 3. Common Palace Note, Area 6053 Shall hold all objects uncovered within Dead Elysium if either organization wishes to move an object outside of SCP-6053, it must first get the approval of the other organization. 4. Weapons are prohibited within Dead Elysium, save for non-lethal melee tools. We hope that both our organizations are able to work together productively in order to discover more about this mysterious land and the anomalous world as a whole. Addendum 6053-2 Catalogue of Items Uncovered Within SCP-6053 As of the establishment of the Dead Elysium Treaty Designation Date recovered. Description. 6053-14, March 10th, 2020. An adolescent instance of SCP-4778, significant damage done to the object's cranium via unknown blunt object. 6053-15 through 6053-20, April 2nd, 2020. Five severed human hands. The items do not appear to have fingerprints. 6053-21 through 6053-23 May 29th, 2020 Three SCP-1000 skeletons appear to be an adult male, adult female, and adolescent male, respectively. Her skeletons are estimated to be around 200 years old. 6053-24 June 9th, 2020, a complete preserved corpse of Spinosaurus. It is unknown if the pure white plumage is the result of a genetic mutation or was representative of the entire species. 6053-25 June 13th, 2020, a complete human skeleton. When discovered, the bones levitated at least high enough so they were no longer visible and are thought to be capable of levitating indefinitely. 6053-27-38 July 13th, 2020 11 SCP-2086 larvae Objects appear to have died of starvation. 6053-39 July 30th, 2020 One human skull belonging to Cassie Mullen an avid outdoorsman who disappeared in 1997 in Sullivan County, New Hampshire. Subject was completely devoid of hair, and their eyes had been removed. Addendum 6053-3 Incident 6053-B On August 17th, 2020, staff within SCP-6053 failed to perform the mandatory daily check-in with outside agents. A small team was sent to investigate found that all personnel within SCP-6053 had disappeared. Records kept by the missing staff did not suggest any new development, nor was any evidence found to explain the disappearances outside the site's lounge area, where furniture was overturned, suggesting a struggle. 
blood was discovered in the carpet, seemingly belonging to Beep, a Foundation operative who is not affiliated with, and when interviewed had no knowledge of SCP-6053. Investigation ongoing. Addendum 6053-4 Catalog of items uncovered within SCP-6053 continued. Designation Date recovered Description 6053-40 October 15th, 2020 Ring-necked spitting cobra Object did not appear to have any notable deviation from wild non-anomalous instances. 6053-41 December 1st, 2020 A mostly intact instance of SCP-21911 there was thought to be no instances of SCP 2191-2A within the object. 6053-42, December 4th, 2020, a human body, identified as one of the serpent's hand operatives who disappeared within SCP 6053 during incident SCP 6053-A. The subject's throat has been pulled out of their body through a cavity in their neck, and their eyes have been removed. A sharp object had been used to carve the words, Let this be a warning, within the subject's chest. 6053-43 